Hey everyone, it's Brian. Happy Sunday. Um, I don't know, it's about 2.30 here. I'm just kind of putzing around in the kitchen. Um, <laughs> getting ready to go out in the yard for a while. Um, and I just wanted to kind of, I noticed this morning I had like a ton of basil. So I actually cut down the basil. You guys, I, I, I made a snapshot of it, showing you the basil. Um, it's been a good year for basil so far. Um, this is my first crop already. So I'm actually, cut it, I cut it back letting it go for the second one but now what to do with all the basil okay so two of my favorite things to do with basil uh, basically is basil garlic butter and basil garlic oil um, I'm gonna flip the camera in a second so you won't see my pretty face but you're gonna see what I'm doing here and you'll get the gist of it um, I started with three pounds of softened unsalted butter and you must use real butter on this one folks um and basically i just kind of put it in my um oh my kitchen aid i forgot what tool i had um in my kitchen aid um and what i did was i just took about 10 cups it equated to about 10 cups of fresh basil stems and all okay and about six cups of that i actually Kind of took the leaves off the stems, chopped it up fine, and I mixed it in the softened butter in the KitchenAid. Okay? Then what I did was to the softened butter and about the six cups of chopped basil, um, I added about 20 cloves of garlic. Yes, that's a lot of garlic. I understand that. But you know what? No witches come by my house because I use so much garlic. But I, we happen to love garlic here, so I used 20 cloves. You can use as many or as little as you want. So you mix that up um, in the bowl of the uh, KitchenAid till it's well incorporated. And then you find a mold for it. Um, I'm going to flip the camera and I'm going to show you in a second what I did with mine. But um, looking good, my friend. <laughs> love basil butter. Ah, oh, basil butter is the best, Tim. Um, hey, Kim. Um, but basically, um, I used two different molds. I used our snack tray mold for one set that gave me 12 bars. And then I actually used our ice cream cake pan for the other mold. So I'm going to flip the camera so you guys get to see what that's all about. Um, and then I'm going to kind of move you over to the stove and let you see what's going on with the basil olive oil. Okay? So here we go. I'm going to flip you guys. Let's see if I can flip you and not lose you. Um, I think it's this button. And it is. Okay. So here you see, I actually just took the, the softened basil butter and I actually just filled the molds of the snack tray maker. I'm going to put the cover on it, let it harden. And then once it hardens, it's, I'm going to have bo uh, bars. What I'm going to actually do is take two bars, stack them on top of each other, and they'll actually go into like a butter dish. So when I can have them whenever I want, okay? The rest you can just individually stack or, or single or double, wrap them in plastic wrap, stick them in the freezer, okay? Now I'm going to move you over here. This is what I did. I actually filled with the rest of the butter that I had, and I actually filled it, filled our ice cream cake pan with it. Now I'm going to actually put the cover on this, and you kind of get a gist of how tall this is. Okay, that's about how much we have in there. That's pretty heavy trying to do it left-handed, okay? And then what I'm going to do with these, once it comes out of the refrigerator and it's firmed, I'd say about 24 hours, I'm just going to slice it into maybe, oh, I don't know, half-inch pieces, slices. And what I'll do is I'll individually wrap those so that I'll always have those at disposal. The basil garlic butter is amazing for anything great for grilled chicken it's great for fish it's great to add in sauces as a starter for your soups as a starter for any kind of pasta or just top it off on top of a great grilled steak but it's amazing how much flavor this is going to bring and usually for us <laughs> uh you know basil butter garlic these are things we all love um, but for us, one of these, these um, 
ice cream cake pans and one of these molds stacked twice um, would probably be enough to get us halfway through this the year. So ultimately what we would do is uh, by the next crop that comes up, I'm going to actually do the same thing I did here and then freeze everything. And I'll actually have basil garlic butter for the year. Okay, so these some quick tips. It, it is, really is no magical recipe here. It's about, it's about the amount of butter you want and the amount of basil and garlic you want. You use as much or as little as you want. The, the secret to this is make sure you start with unsalted butter and add your own salt, though, okay? Now I'm going to take you over to the pan here, and we're actually on the stove. I'm going to shut this off because this is done. What I have here is a gallon of just good olive oil, okay? And then what I added to the garlic, uh, the oil, was I just crushed and chopped, skins and all, a bunch of garlic cloves. You can leave the skins on, doesn't matter because you're not going to use those. And you're just going to kind of put that on a low simmer, let it boil away until it ultimately gets to the point where um, it's starting to sizzle. And you kind of see it sizzling here, okay? So let it do its thing, shut it off, and let it sit until it stops boiling. And then from there, what you're going to do is you're just going to take a strainer. You could take a spoon. You could do whatever you want to do. You could take this. Put the pan, uh, put put a colander over a pan or a bowl, something to catch this oil. But the idea is you want to scoop all of this stuff out, let it sit, let it cool in a bowl, and then pour it into bottles. So ultimately, you kind of see I have a whole bunch of bottles here. This is one of them. I'm going to fill this. Thank God it, my, I got basil. It was just about empty, huh? Um, so you fill it. Now, this is great. For sauteing, um, I know somebody had asked me earlier about um, salads. Sure, it's perfect for salads. It's ideal for stuff like that. It's great for topping off pastas. It's great for drizzling over chicken. Um, it's great for all sorts of great things where you want to bring some really good flavor in it. This is also great for just kind of brushing or drizzling over bread and toasting it in the oven, like a, a baguette for like um, garlic bread or French bread. Okay, so it works well for that as well. But the idea behind this is scoop that out, pour it into a strainer, let the oil sit through, then pour it into a bottle with a top. And this, once you've scooped it out and it's cooled, should last you about six to eight months. In our house, it's not gonna last that long because we're gonna use it. But the idea is it will last because you scooped all the stuff out. You don't have to worry about it rotting. It's all been boiled. So the idea is now you, all the flavor and the infusion of the flavor is in the oil. Okay. So there's a couple of quick tips on basil garlic butter. Excuse me, basil garlic oil. And then there's a couple of quick tips on basil garlic butter. So I hope you liked them. Hope you enjoyed them. Um, get yourself some fresh basil. There's nothing better in the world. Have a great Sunday, guys.